Hey, it's Cody here again. Now that we've completed our hover map scans and pulled our files off of the device, it's time to go ahead and start the processing. Uh, if you've rented through us, your rental already comes with a laptop with the MSN software pre-installed. So let's take our USB drive and pop it into our computer and get started. Once that pops up, you're gonna go ahead and drag your scan files to your desktop. Once you've transferred your files onto your desktop, remove the USB storage drive and get your Sentinel key from your hover map case. You're gonna need this in order to run the processing software. Then you can open the MSN software and we're ready to drop our files in. If you're having an issue with the software seeing your file to be dropped, that's not a problem. Just leave it on the desktop and click in the area where it says drag and drop new data set here. From here, navigate through your file system to your desktop, click on the folder that you want and hit select. You'll see it pop out here in the processing window. You can go ahead and just leave your profile on standard and hit start. It's gonna start running and it'll do all the processing on itself automatically. Now that our processing is all finished, let's go ahead and take a look at our original folder on the desktop. You'll see a new folder here called output. That is where the Hovermap processing software has put your last file. As you can see, processing data with the Hovermap software is really easy. Now you have a point cloud set that you can further process using the software of your choice.